Tesla makes a bold guarantee. The Easter eggs have dropped. Tesla may be working on a super streamlined delivery process and more. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 479 for December 24th, 2018. This show is sponsored by my supporter, Richard. If you're in the market for a Model S, X, or 3, please consider using his referral code. Ask your salesman to use code RICHARD174 or go direct to the web link ts.la slash richard174 for six months of free supercharging, which has received another last-minute extension. But act fast. That supercharging benefit ends December 31st. The show kicks off the holiday season with an amazing guarantee made by Elon on Twitter. Remember way back when Elon guaranteed a refund if Tesla couldn't deliver by the first? Well, he just upped the ante even more. In responding to at Wangmeister on Twitter asking what happened if the order didn't make it in time, he said, quote, If Tesla committed delivery and customer made good faith efforts to receive before year end, Tesla will cover the tax credit difference, end quote. That's right. If Tesla promised you delivery before the year is out and you were not the fault the delivery didn't happen, you can expect a $3,750 discount off your shiny new car. What a way to take care of your customers. Tesla really owes nobody anything on the tax credit front, and yet they're making sure to take care of folks relying on it. Here's hoping nobody actually needs to invoke that guarantee and Santa gets all the Teslas delivered before the new year. Next up, we kind of had all the sources letting everyone know that the fun Easter eggs promised before the holidays have indeed dropped to the cars. Romance mode, emissions testing mode, and new games have all been loaded to your vehicles just in time for holiday fun, though there have been some surprises in the release. Unbeknownst to anyone, it turns out that Tesla has included freaking USB controller support for the games. Totally unexpected and a shocking extra touch to the growing list of games on the car. Unfortunately, there's a catch here, as Model 3 Owners Club reports. This, as well as pole position, are only found on the Model 3 and on Model S and X vehicles equipped with the latest center screen computer. Those of us without get Millipede as a consolation prize, which for me is a real bummer. I can't fathom why pole position was left out for those of us owning older cars, as my Commodore 64 ran pole position smoothly, and it doesn't even have a thimbleful of the power in even the oldest Model S. Hopefully it's just a strange delay for unknown reasons, and we'll all eventually get the game that makes the most sense in a Tesla vehicle. Electrek reports next that Tesla is working to further reduce the time it takes to take delivery of your Tesla. Dubbed Instant Drive Away, the program hopes to have owners arrive and take off in their new car in five minutes or less. Now, there is a catch to the program, and that's that you must use either cash or some form of Tesla financing to perform the transaction, as this can ensure that all the proper T's have been crossed and I's dotted before delivery since it's more integrated into the Tesla system. I'd personally more prefer that this be an optional thing. While you folks listening to this and myself are very likely prime candidates for such a program, already knowing most everything we need to know about the vehicles, other folks aren't in the same boat and could use more of a custom touch instead of being shoved out the door as fast as possible. If this is an option, great. If not, maybe they should pump the proverbial brakes a bit on the program and reconsider. While Teslas are in most respects no different than any other car out there, there are a few nuances that would be better explained before the customer leaves. A quick hitter now also coming from Electrek for my European listeners out there waiting for Model 3. A few more countries just got the go-ahead to configure their orders. If you're out there listening in Germany, Denmark, Finland, or Italy, congratulations, it's time to configure your order. If you've not already received an email, check your Tesla account, and you may very well be ready to go. While we've been seeing CCS superchargers popping up here and there out there, we're still waiting on first deliveries of Model 3, which are expected to be in February or March, as all inventory at this time is being directed to the U.S. to support as many as possible in getting the full tax credit in the U.S. However, Tesla has noted in invites to configure that orders placed before the new year should expect delivery before February is out. It's getting close, folks. Only a bit more than a month before we should see the first European deliveries. 
Lastly, I wanted to end the show with a heads up on the planned recording schedule through the holidays. Being I normally record on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday for shows to post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there will be no show on Wednesday since recording would take place on Christmas. The same will hold true for next week since recording would be on New Year's Day. We'll get back to normal recording in the second week of 2019. In the meantime, if it's not already gone up, you can expect Tidbits from the Road episode 15 to hit YouTube any second now. It's my time hanging out with friend of the show Nick and his Model 3 performance. The show focuses on how in the world Model 3 seems to be neglected on these Car of the Year lists and what owning the performance version is like. Again, my sincere thanks to Nick for hanging out with me and letting me drive his car. One of the remaining shows of the year will also take a look at my bold predictions to start the year, as well as making some new ones for 2019. I nailed a couple and missed a couple, so it'll be fun to make some more for next year. Check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, please consider supporting the show financially through Patreon at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks as always to our super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are John Woltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dory and Steve Guberman, Bruno Kundici, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Rammer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Robert Healy, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvin Og, Blake Todd. Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sportline, Michael Pastroni, Travis and Cheyenne Rush, Cookie UK, Chris Hovis, Craig Murphy, and Vicky Kirk. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. For those celebrating, I wish you all a Merry Christmas, and I'll see everyone back here again on Friday. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.